Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So as Southern California Hospital is using a new technology to destroy liver tumors, and they're saying that the same treatment could soon be available for other forms of cancer. So this allows doctors to reach tumors in areas that they can't reach surgically or like when there are too many tumors in an organ. And this new treatment is completely non-invasive. So here's the deal. Providence Mission Hospital in Orange County, California, has one of only two of these machines that exist in the whole world. And it uses sound waves to vaporize tumors. The device is called an Edison histotripsy system. And it was just approved by the FDA for cancer treatment. Um, this happened in October of 2023. They approved it after they ran clinical trials. And they say that there's clinical trials underway for the treatment of kidney, pancreas, and prostate cancer. And then according to the Orange County Register, they hope to eventually utilize this for thyroid cancer, breast, and brain tumors. So the machine was recently used to treat a 51-year-old man. His name is Michael Ferris. He had colon cancer and it had metastasized to his liver. Um, Ferris was diagnosed a year ago, and they said by the time he was diagnosed, it was already stage four liver cancer. So this guy was not in good shape. Um, he had no symptoms, which is the weird thing. And they said they put him through 25 rounds of chemo. He had two radiation treatments, but the oncologist said he wasn't a, a surgical candidate because the liver was just too overwhelmed with tumors. There were just too many of them. Um, so he also had his, a tumor that was buried really deep in his liver and it wasn't responding to these other treatments. So the doctors were able to go in and destroy this tumor. It was three centimeters. They said they destroyed the tumor and its proteins within 45 minutes. And they said, quote, once pulverized, they are absorbed by the body and go into the bloodstream where they can become helpful to the body's immune system in attacking other tumors that could be present or may just be popping up. And then the doctor explained, quote, it explodes the cells and the target is like a grain of rice that turns into a liquid. All the cells are dead and the body's lymphatic system absorbs them. In some patients, it can cause a systemic response and help the body recognize the tumor cells so it can learn to kill them. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'm excited about anything that doesn't include the standard poison and burn regimen. Um, so hopefully this is gonna replace all of the archaic treatments that we've been using for far too long, you know, that just destroy our immune systems. And as I mentioned, as of now, this is the only hospital that has this machine outside of one other machine that's at a, a hospital in Seattle, Washington. So let's start, you know, cranking these machines out. Let, let's hope that they start putting them in every hospital in the US. And the Biden administration could really benefit from this. They should make an investment in this technology. You know, they vowed to eradicate cancer. Imagine how popular this would be to make this announcement that, you know, we're gonna take government funds and we're gonna help to make this a reality, to pump out these machines in large quantities and get them at every hospital in the United States. And think about it. I mean, this one hospital has a waiting list. So you would have people coming from all over the world to get this treatment done. It's a good thing. It's a win, 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 especially for the patients. So anyway, if anybody's out there listening, <laughs> who knows anyone in the Biden administration, give them a shout out, let them know. All right. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. I will let you know if I hear any more. Please like this video, share it, become a subscriber, become a donor. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.